Soldiers soon found themselves having to come to terms with the sudden randomness of a violent death. Nowhere was safe from shrapnel. Herbert Cecil Alger recorded in his diary the death of Major Morland John Gregg, a popular officer and master of the Devon and Somerset Staghounds. Another black day for us. I'm 17. I'm called John Smith. I'm originally from Liverpool. My dad had to come down here for factory work. I didn't want to come. It was rough from Liverpool. It was always better down here until the war. My village made me signed up. It's worse now. I didn't want to come. We heard a shell coming. The shell exploded about three paces from me and I was hit. I had two cuts to the ribs and one in rear of the shoulder. It had not much but if we had not ducked under a rock, probably we would have all been hurt or killed. One shell dropped just behind one of our guns, but all the men were just getting ready for firing. That gun was about 400 yards from us. It served them rough. I heard the poor chaps groaning from where we were to work. Bang! When I arose after being hit by the shell, it was to see poor Major Greg stretched out with his head nearly off. In fact, a lot of it had gone. Dear everyone, I have received your letter and I am still alive. Many men have been killed and many more injured. I have been lucky. The hygiene is terrible here. Many are ill and diseases are spreading fast. The water supply is limited, as the water is poisoned. We are constantly being shot at, and I am beginning to lose hearing because of the constant exploding shells. Other than that, I'm alright. I hope you're all well, and I hope to see you soon, again, sometime. Love from Stephen. The shell passed through Major's face and neck before it struck the ground and exploded. I think it's a high explosive shell that did the damage. This sight I shall never forget. I was three paces from Major Greed. Major Greed, myself, and where the shell burst had formed a triangle. The shell passed through Major Greed's face and neck before he struck to the ground and exploded. I think it was a high explosive shell that did it. Dear mother, I am sorry to tell you that it is truly awful. The sanitary facilities are appalling, and everyone is affected by what has disappeared. My uniform constantly loves everyone. We were shouting while sleeping in our trench. Luckily, I had two layers of sandbags that have on me, because the lab side only had one. Major Green is dead. I love you, mum.